Speaking of sitting on the front porch, I came up with this theory a few months ago. There's been so much talk in recent years about the uh, moral breakdown in American society, the family unit falling apart, and the violence among the small children. It used to be that way, and it's that way now. So why is that? And they've analyzed this thing to death. Here's what happened. We made a mistake in this country years ago when we quit building houses with front porches on them. When everybody had a front porch, was all more civilized. Get out there after supper, sit around, talk, sometimes just grunt. <laughs> like, ah, oh, damn. <laughs> I ain't gonna never eat cooked cabbage again. <laughs> <laughs> and remember how you used to wave? Everybody that drove by, you go. <laughs> Somebody go, who was that? You go, hell, I don't know. <laughs> well, you waved. Well, I didn't want them to think we was up at you. And remember how you could gossip about everybody that drove down the highway? Somebody goes flying, there you go, there goes that David Jackson driving like a bat out of hell. <laughs> got a brand new car. How'd he get a new car? He ain't got no job. <laughs> I'll bet you his daddy co signed. <laughs> he co signs for all them kids. That's how come they didn't turn out to be worth a damn. <laughs> well, see, you can't do that no more. You know why? Ain't nobody got a porch. Everybody's got a deck, a deck, a damn deck. <laughs> you can't raise a family out back on a deck. <laughs> we need a porch like they had in Mayberry with Andy, Opie, and Barney out there. If they'd had a deck, Opie would be on drugs right now. <laughs> and look at this thing, look at this thing about neighborhood crime. We're all paralyzed by neighborhood crime. There's no neighborhood crime when I was little, you know why? Everybody's not on that porch. <laughs> if the American people are so brave this day, here's how we conquer neighborhood crime. We all join the neighborhood watch program. Put that little plaque in our subdivision. This neighborhood part of neighborhood watch. I tell you. Man, that's gonna scare them off, ain't it? Some mass murderer ahead in your subdivision, see that plaque? Damn, they got a plaque! <laughs> here's, here's how the Neighborhood Watch program works. Somebody goes, all right, it's your turn. This week it's your turn. You be on the lookout. If you see anybody strange in the subdivision, you get on the phone, you call everybody else. We'll be out back on the deck. You call us. You know. <laughs> now here's why there's no neighborhood crime when I was little. I remember being out on the front porch with my daddy and my little brother. Some guy would be walking down the road, and my dad would go, wonder who that man is walking down the road right there. My little brother said, I don't know, Daddy, I don't know him. My dad would go, he can walk down the road all he wants to. <laughs> but he better not come in my damn yard. <laughs> <laughs> well, see, you don't know that now. You know why? You're right back on the deck, the deck. <laughs> you can't see nothing back there on that deck. You And do you remember when the word porch used to be part of our vocabulary? Like somebody would say, you know, I had a glass of lemonade sitting somewhere. I bet you left that on the porch. <laughs> Where'd I put that hammer? Look on the porch. <laughs> or somebody might say, what'd y'all do with that old refrigerator? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, we just sat on the front porch. 